Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your photo news fix. Guess what DJI just did? Any guesses? Take your time. I'll give you a quick second to figure it out. They released another drone. Yep, this time they're calling it the DJI Phantom 4 Advanced, which is replacing the DJI Phantom 4? If you're confused, don't worry, you're not the only one. DJI has 47 versions of their drones. They don't actually have 47 drones, all with similar names and functions. The P4 Advance is priced at $1,349, which is only $150 less than the P4 Pro. In my opinion, just buy the damn P4 Pro. The Advanced has the same one inch 20 megapixel sensor with mechanical shutter as the P4 Pro. It allows you to shoot 4K at up to 60 frames a second and now has a flight time of 30 minutes, which is up from 28. It will have a forward and downward facing obstacle avoidance sensor, but not back or side like the Pro. Just buy the Pro for the extra $150. It will be well worth it for when you want to back that thing up and need to be told when to stop. In my opinion, DJI needs to be careful with how many and how often they replace their drones, or they might run into the same trouble as GoPro by confusing the consumer with too many options. For more information on the Phantom 4 Advanced, head on over to DJI's official website. Introducing the new Brella, an umbrella for people who want to go hands-free or for people who have no hands, take your pick. Does the Nubrella make you look like you broke your back? Yes. Does the Nubrella look like you ripped the front cover off of a stroller? Yes, it does. Does the Nubrella make you look like Lord Helmet? Yes. Does the Nubrella make you look extra, extra professional? Hell yes. Will the Nubrella protect you if you have an afro? Maybe. I'm not quite sure, but we will see because I actually bought one. Yes. I ordered one. The Nubrella weighs just three pounds. Jeez, just what I want on my back. A three pound umbrella, sorry, Nubrella. And it uses waterproof nylon. Thank God they didn't just use regular nylon because I don't know if that would have worked. It has aluminum rods, glass filled plastic, whatever the hell that is. And they say it's designed to withstand up to 40 mile per hour wind without flipping inside out. But the big question is, will it pass my wind tunnel test? <laughs> we'll have to see because when I get it in the mail, it's gonna be tested. This amazing new umbrella can be yours right now for only $59, which is $20 off its regular price, and it comes with free shipping. Though I see a ton of shortcomings with the design, such as not being able to wear my own backpack, black rapid strap, and shoulder bag. It may have some real world uses, such as if you're filming or shooting and don't want the gear to get wet. Come to think of it, will the rain run down my back? Will the canopy keep my body dry and not just my head? It's a good question. What do you guys think? Is this a winner or a loser? Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Have you ever been worried about flying your drone outside during a lightning storm? Well, you should. YouTuber Tom Scott took a trip to visit a bunch of nerds, nerds at the University of Manchester's High Voltage Lab to find out what exactly happens when lightning strikes a drone. He took a Phantom 3 drone and fired it up against 1.4 million volts of electricity. If it was me, I would have used 1.21 gigawatts. He captured slow motion video slowed down to 3,200 times. The footage shows exactly how the drone was hit. The strike first hits the rotors and passes down the quadcopter exiting through the landing gear. In his test, he discovered that the lightning strike won't actually fry your drone's battery since the battery is surrounded by a metal casing that acts like a Faraday cage, but it will destroy the motor and probably blow off your propellers. In the end, Scott says, the lesson is, if you're gonna fly your drone in a lightning storm, don't. Or I like to say, if you do, be sure to wear a new umbrella so the lightning hits you first. There you have it, that's your photo news fix. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time with another fix. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.